the taking of a bath, bathing, sometimes it is taken, the bath, in order to cool the body down due to climatic conditions, and other times it is taken to remove sexual impurity. Is this a permitted act during the fast? Alhamdulillah. Was salat was salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahibi ajmain amma baad. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rabbi shahli sadri wa yassirli amri. Wahlul ugdat min lisani yafqahu qawli. As far as bathing is concerned, that is ghusl, whether it's done for a religious fard, if you are in the state of junoon, that sexual defilement, or whether it is done to clean your body to remove the dirt or you're feeling sticky, or whether bathing is done because you're feeling thirsty or you're feeling hot, whatever reason it's done for, as long as the person does not swallow water, the fast does not get invalidated. So bathing is permissible while fasting, and there are several ahadith to show that it's permitted. It's mentioned in Sai Bukhari, one number three, in the book of fasting, hadith number 1926, that Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, she says that the Prophet, he got up from his sleep in a sexually defiled state, in the state of Junub, while he was fasting, and he took a bath and he continued his fast. That means bathing was obligatory here because he had intercourse with the wife. So it was compulsory, and he bathed. Further, if you read Sunan Abu Dawud, volume number two, in the book of fasting, hadith number 2359, Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, he says that he heard a man saying that when the Prophet had gone to Al Arj, and while he was fasting, he poured water over his head. Because he was thirsty or he was feeling excessively hot. So even when you feel thirsty or you feel hot, you're allowed to pour water over your head or have a bath in the state of fasting. Furthermore, it's mentioned in Sayyid al-Bukhari, volume number three, in the book of fasting, chapter number 25. Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, he soaked his garment in water and he wore it. In the same chapter, Sayyid al-Bukhari, Volume number three, in the book of fasting, chapter number 25, it's mentioned that Anas Manlai will please with him. He says he had a tub of water in which he used to sit while he used to fast. So all these hadith show us that taking guzul, pouring water over your head, whether it be for religious purpose, whether it's fard, whether it's optional muba, whether you're feeling excessively hot, whether you're feeling dirty, whether you're feeling thirsty, in the state of fasting, all these are permissible as long as we do not swallow water while having a bath.